Hi Notion is. I'm just going to walk you through the process for setting up the workout tracker with uh, accountability functionality. And this is going to be a slightly more complicated process, obviously, than just setting up the workout tracker if you did that before. But the good news is uh, if you downloaded the settings app for that first version of the shortcut, you can just keep using that again and you don't need to re-enter your settings at all. So I'm glad that design has worked out quite well. And basically what you're gonna need to do is set up two internal integration tokens. And I'm just looking at the blog post on my website here with this title, um, which has links to the video walkthrough and notions guide for setting up an internal integration token. So make sure you head there and watch those if you're not sure how to do that already. Uh, the reason you're setting up two internal integration tokens this time is one is the one that you're going to be using yourself and you might have that one already. Um, in which case you can keep using it, uh, but you're going to need a second one, or at least I would strongly recommend creating a second one to give to whoever you want to send your messages to and uh, have them comment on your workouts. Um, basically because when you give someone an internal integration token and you share databases and pages with them, that gives them access to that database and those pages, obviously, including anything that's uh, nested inside those pages. And so you just wanna make sure that you know exactly what you have shared with that person. Um, and if you go on to use your own personal internal integration token to connect to the API for anything else, hopefully with one of my shortcuts that I release in the future, which you find useful, you know that you're not sharing anything with the person that you're using this shortcut with uh, by accident, uh, just in case you know they did try and access anything else via the API. So the process for creating the internal integration token for them is gonna be exactly the same. And then once you've done that, you will just need to copy the setting shortcut and the app from uh, these links right here, uh, and then install those shortcuts in the same way uh, that you would expect to before. Obviously, you're gonna need to link the setting shortcut to the app shortcut once you've downloaded it by opening the settings page. So you should see something that looks a little bit like this once you've set that up with your internal integration token there. And then obviously the uh, IDs for your two databases here. And this is where you'll just select the shortcut that you want to link the setting shortcut to. Then you're gonna need to open up the app shortcut as well. So this one here, and when you do, you'll be prompted to select the recipient of your messages. Um, so the person who you want to notify when you've completed a run, uh, you've uh, done a walking workout, or you've completed a strength workout. And again, uh, in the same way that you did when you opened the settings shortcut and you were prompted to fill in the uh, information, you'll be prompted to fill those details in when you open the app shortcut as well. And then once you've done that, if you do want your accountability buddy or personal trainer to be able to comment on your workouts and have those comments saved in Notion, uh, which will look a little bit like this or this, if you're looking at the gallery view, um, then you just need them to download the settings shortcut and the app shortcut for the commenting uh, functionality. And then they will need to enter the internal integration token that you've given them. But this is a pretty simple shortcut. So uh, it's just that and the database ID for your workouts database um, that you'll need to give them. And then as long as you don't rename the date or comment properties, um, you that's all they'll need to set up. Obviously, if you do change those property names, just enter the new labels for those properties in the value column right here or have them do that. And that should be it. So obviously once you've done that, you can add the settings shortcut to your homepage or to a widget so that you can access it from your lock screen and your accountability buddy or PT can do the same thing and you should be ready to go.